at OS Bridge. This is Cami Chaos, Strange Love Live, and right now I'm joined by Callie Carroll. Hi, Callie. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Where can we find you on Twitter and the web? I'm at HylaWeb on Twitter. It's H-Y-L-A-W-E-B, and also HylaWeb.com. So. And HylaWeb deals in usability? Well, it's just sort of a personal um, site domain I've had for a long time, and I keep a blog there. I've talked about my research, about conferences, and some of my work in the past, and, you know, kind of things related to usability and accessibility. And that's what you focus on right now, and do you do that um, using open source? I do, and I have actually um, studied sort of accessibility and open source projects in particular, like MediaWiki, mm-hmm. and I've done all kinds of open source development myself, PHP, MySQL, a um, long time ago, you know, like Perl, and and uh, big time Unix user, and um, but in general I've kind of shifted my focus from web development to uh, usability and accessibility sort of in specific. So what is cool about accessibility? <laughs> Well, I guess I, um, if you work in accessibility, I think it's cool partly because you get to call yourself a humanitarian technologist. So, that is very cool. <laughs> so you're kind of a user advocate in general, but I think what's cool about it is, is when you explain to someone like um, how when you do accessibility work, you're helping make interfaces work better for all sorts of people. Mm-hmm. Um, then I think when they finally get it and they go, aha, then that's then that's pretty neat about it. But the, uh, so in general, like if I say, oh, it's not just for uh, making sure that people who are blind or low vision, visually impaired can use an interface or use something like an iPod or iTunes or, uh, you know, Wikipedia, something like that. It's kind of for everybody. It's for anybody who might wear bifocals or have uh, repetitive stress, you know, carpal tunnel and, Mm -hmm. Or if you're just tired and can't think straight and don't want to see <laughs> see anything and use a screen reader. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, the, it's doing the good things with technology that help people rather than having to make them adapt to the technology. Having the good technology yeah. adapt for them. Yes. So you have uh, on the card here what people really think that you do when you start <laughs> explaining. What do people think you do? Well, I think I had to explain to some relatives once. They kind of asked me, they're like, why are you in school again? I thought you graduated from college. And I'm <laughs> like, yeah, well, I'm doing some research, grad school. And, and so they asked me what I did. And rather than saying, oh, I'm studying mobile device usage by persons with visual impairments or I work in assistive technology, I said, thought about it for a while, and I said, I help blind people use computers. Because that was like the simplest thing I could think. And of course, their reaction was, oh, can you help blind people shoot a gun? (laughs) Um, These relatives are from, uh, let's just not say the Northwest. Uh (laughs) And I am, you know, rural area somewhere, you might think. But they, uh, and I was sort of dumbfounded. And then then I learned something from them, which was, Oh, well, you know, you can go on the internet now and you can do hunting on the internet where you aim the gun and shoot through the webcam and then they'll mail you whatever you killed. And I thought, wow, I did not know this before. And it's kind of like that David Sedaris bit where he talks about how, like, uh, the blind can legally hunt in Michigan, but then how do they find what they killed and then do they drive themselves home? I am am (laughs) baffled and amazed. (laughs) So, wow. so you have great shoes on. Oh, just, thanks. Neither here nor there, but I just saw them, so sorry. So a lot of it is kind of about uh, awareness and social issues of like, oh, well, you know, people that are blind or have, have a disability, like they want to do the same things that everyone else wants to do. But to be clear, you do not help blind no, people I, shoot guns. I don't have anything to do with firearms, really. <laughs> but I, um, you know, iPods are kind of more my thing and uh-huh. open source software and... Uh, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, no, no guns for me. So if you're trying to think about hiring me, I'm not going to work on your gun project. I'm sorry. But. It's good to know. <laughs> All the blind gun dealers out there. That's just cross yeah. Cali. And off and, the and list I of think potential. I think David Sedaris might have said, or maybe it was my relatives. Who you know? It's you know, it's so hard to tell that the uh, <laughs> that the, uh, the truth versus fiction. 
Uh, Which is stranger, it's always true. (laughs) If you live in some states, you know, you can actually hunt from your car if you have some, uh, you know, mobility issues, so. Having grown up in Texas, these things don't surprise me nearly as much as the hunting on the internet. Oh, did I mention that these people are from Texarkana? So, of course that was on the Arkansas side, so not Yeah, it's still, you know, it's okay. I I was trying to be anonymous to protect their identities, but. It's okay, I understand. But, you know, it's. There's a lot of people there. They're not going to be watching my shows. <laughs> It'll be safe unless you go, look, Mom, it's on the Internet. <laughs> It'll all be okay. Um, so what so- <laughs> I can't tell if he's laughing at me. Or- <laughs> it's the guns. I think that gets people. It, well, golly. <laughs> really, just hunting on the Internet. I mean, I mean the, little, the little duck shoot thing that you do for pretend, the little video game. You know, I've I've never researched it, but I'll bet there's going to be a bunch of hits right after this oh, I, show comes. Because everyone's yeah. going to be like, "Really? No way!" Yeah, I'm going to go kill something and have it sent to my house. <laughs> I won't be doing that. It's <laughs> not really my thing. I'm kind of more Duck Hunt, I guess. You know? Yeah, exactly. Pizza Hut 1988 or something. Mm-hmm. So we get the big all. I want to get an arcade machine in my house. I'd get Space Invaders though, which is. I think I'd want a Ms. Pac-Man cocktail table. Uh, Um, So what sorts of work in accessibility and otherwise have you done before? Oh, well, aside from, um, I think I just moved back to Portland, Mm -hmm. actually. I I know I did, from the uh, Sunnyvale, California area. And I actually worked on iTunes Store and iTunes U for Apple. And before then, I was in school and did a variety of things for lots of companies that I got laid off by. You know, seems to be stopping the nation. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been doing it for ten years, being laid off by companies. But the, uh, but I've also done some pretty cool things while you know trying to freelance and, and stuff. Like uh, I worked in a violin shop for a long time, and I uh, volunteered and was pretty involved in the um, dart poison frog husbandry uh, community. I still am. Frognet.org. 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 Yeah. Frognet. Poison dart frog. Yeah, at the Atlanta me. Botanical Garden, they're just you know, really fascinating, and I also, uh, I worked in a Japanese hostess club in Atlanta, uh, 1996, so the summer of the Olympics, so I've done some interesting cultural things, too. A varied so, and interesting. Not related to guns, though, or no. even accessibility. I, I, there's a yeah. theme that it's not related to guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you working, also, are you working with John and the others on... I am a little bit uh, talking to him, especially about on or blogs. I don't know. I, if I you talked stopped. to or blogs. Yeah, we've had we've had actually a, an entire or blogs episode of Strange. Oh, Black excellent! Before, yeah. yeah, he's um, he's talked to me about doing um, sort of looking at interfaces and accessibility related to that and kind of usability because it's pretty important. And a lot of times, on especially volunteer led projects, it's easy to have the programmers and it might be easy to find designers but more of the user experience Mm -hmm. you know kind of like information architecture is important and stuff but sometimes people just dive in and go ahead and it's helpful to have someone come in and talk about things from like usability perspective yeah so I'm looking forward to get more involved with that too excellent Uh, what what have you done at the conference so far and what are you looking forward to? I went to a talk on microblogging and then another one about tools kind of for people, you know, uh, running a business or freelancing open source. And I'm looking forward to uh, um, actually the unconference. It sounds like people are getting pretty excited. I might Friday actually should be yeah, a very cool day. I think I'll probably get uh, lured into doing a talk on Friday, but I. Um, I always really enjoy this. I went to a conference last week on usability, which was quite different, but uh, there was a talk there that was like usability for evil. So I think there's one, <laughs> there's one here that might be similar, yeah. yeah. But the, um, yeah, so sort of the subversive nature of, <laughs> of technology sometimes. If we can't be subversive with it, what good is it? That's right, I think that whole gun thing might be, might be evil. I think no. that might be like evil the real technology. evil yeah, rather that, yeah. than the funny evil. Yeah. yeah. 
I like the funny evil better. But you know, there's like probably Doctor Claw. <laughs> there's probably less chance that someone would get accidentally shot, though. That's true. Yeah, it's good for good for you know amateurs. They don't have to go out and actually hold a gun. They can just use a mouse. Oh look there! I shot me something. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> um, I'm horrifying my husband over there. Kelly, can you repeat for us where we can find you on the internet? Um, HyloWeb is my name on Twitter and also HyloWeb.com. There's all kinds of info there on me. John's making fun of me. How do you spell that? H-Y-L-A-W-E-B. And Hyla has to do with tree frogs. It's like all back to the poison dart frog tree frog husbandry. Plus it sounds nice. It does. It sounds very nice. (laughs) All right, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Can you make sure to sign the board? Excellent. And and I'll let you know.